Bunch of girls tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back, pumped up more than ever before because I believe in you, I'm your number one fan, so keep going. Yo, this video is going to be so dope, you know, by the time you're watching this video, arena points have already been reset for the new season, and this means you're gonna have to climb your way back up to the Champions League if you want to compete in the cash prize tournaments. So to make this journey quick and painless, okay, you're gonna need the most up-to-date tips and tricks to dominate your competition. I mean, we got you covered today, so in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys 30 rapid fire tips to help you guys improve in this new season but before we do it's time for our tradition come on it's time to sit back relax and get some of my favorite candy what is it y'all come on it's that bunch of crunch yo and let's get this going Number one, the first tip that we got for you guys today is to stop playing so passive. I mean, you're never going to improve your fighting skills by avoiding every opponent in the hopes to steal a free win. You know, if you guys struggle with fighting, you should be engaging with opponents as often as possible in order to really learn from your mistakes and improve. Number two, a great way to improve as a fighter is by playing lots of solo arena. This definitely isn't the best way to gain points, but you know, playing as a solo will force you guys to fight by yourself without relying on your teammates. You should definitely add a few solo arena games into your daily routine if you guys have already. Number three, whether you're playing arena, scrims, or tournaments, you should have a few drop spots and loot routes that you guys know inside out. This will avoid RNG and increase the chances of you entering the mid game with solid enough loot to play the remainder of the match out with. Number four, whenever you find yourself in a situation where you've been peace controlled by an opponent with nowhere to go, apply pressure to the wall that they're editing onto you from. This is going to allow you to replace the piece as your own, giving you the opportunity for a counter play or just getting to safety. Number five, don't strictly rely on your pickaxe to damage builds when box fighting. Shoot in the wall once with your shotgun will speed the wall replacing process up and may catch your opponent off guard. I mean, this works best with wood and can even fully break the wall if it's on a low enough HP. Number six, a great way to make a surprise play on an opponent box is by using your SMG. Spray your SMG on their walls as you fall onto it. When timed correctly, the wall will break right as you land, allowing you to replace it or just get on them. Number seven, if you haven't already realized for yourself, the combat SMG is significantly better than the Stinger. The fire rate and damage per second is absolutely busted, guys, making it the top pick from the pros. Many players would even use a green combat over a purple Stinger. Number eight, speaking of how broken the SMGs are in the current meta, don't be afraid to drop your AR or low rarity shotgun for extra heals. Playing with only two weapons this season will get the job done, especially later in the game when an AR isn't so useful. Number nine, using the SMG instead of a shotgun at the close range is actually a viable strategy. I mean, if you're able to land most of your shots, the SMG will oftentimes out damage a player using shotgun when in a box. Number 10, to counter those players whose main play style is just walking in your face with an SMG, use your shotgun to refire them. Like if they're up against your wall trying to get bleed through damage, shoot your gun right as the wall breaks to crack their shield or even kill them. Alright guys, it's time for the question of the day, Bunch of Army, here we go. What is the highest amount of eliminations that you've ever gotten in an arena match? Please be honest, okay? Let us know down in the comments below. Number 11. Whenever you're pushing an opponent's box, make sure to block off your sides with walls if you're fighting in a congested area. Third parties are becoming more and more common, so you need to be cautious of AR sprays. Number 12. Whenever you're box fighting, you need to apply counterpiece control around yourself. Placing a cone or ramp at your feet will prevent the opponent from fully trapping you and will provide an escape route if needed. Number 13. Similarly to counter peace control, you should be setting up peace control traps around an opponent's box to catch them when they try to rebox. Something as simple as a cone on a wall next to their box will allow you to fully box them if they head in that direction. Number 14. One of the most efficient ways to peace control an opponent is by using window edits on your wall. These will provide right hand peaks and solid protection for yourself while still being able to place cones and walls on the other side. And number 15, turn on your visual sound effects if you guys haven't already. This setting will show you things that no headset could ever pick up. I mean, boats, animals, gunfire, footsteps, you name it. This setting will take your awareness to the next level without cluttering up your screen like it did in previous seasons. Number 16, okay, I know we've been talking about how broken the SMGs are this season, but the shotguns, especially the striker, can deal some crazy damage as well. To make sure that your aim is on point, play this headshot only free for all map by Panville. Tons of pros have added this into the routine and have seen some crazy results. Number 17, all right, speaking of the pros, you need to start watching their gameplay and learn from what they do. Like, they're not at the top for no reason. I mean, these players are using the best and most up-to-date strategies that you can incorporate into your playstyle. Number 18, all right, one of the biggest mistakes that we see from lower level players is use the wrong materials when building. When you get into a fight, you should definitely switch to brick. I mean, this is gonna defer third party spray and it's gonna provide more protection in box fights. 
Number 19. You know, whether you're tarping by yourself or with a trio, you need to be blocking off the back of your tunnel. Players these days love sneaking into enemies' tarps for quick refreshes, so you need to give yourself some protection. Every few tiles you rotate, you should definitely reset the wall behind you. Number 20. All right, so for both the mid and end game, you should definitely be rotating early when you can. I mean, the last thing you guys want is to be stuck in the back of zone when tons of other players are forced into finding each other. I mean, getting ahead of the zone early is going to allow you guys to hold the late rotating teams and pick up some free eliminations. Number 21, when you find yourself in a situation where you need to rebox, you should always move to the tile behind you. I mean, this is gonna prevent you from getting peace controlled on your way out, and it's definitely gonna further the distance between you and your opponent. Number 22, whenever an opponent has a cone in the floor above you and you know that you're about to get edited on, turbo build your wall piece with your crosshair on the opponent. And as soon as the edit opens, your wall will place, giving you the time to get away or even go for a peace control play on them. Number 23, all right, so one of the best ways to lay down peace control is by placing a cone over your wall. To do this, guys, hold your cone piece out with your crosshair just slightly above the wall. This is gonna cause the cone to really place on the opposite side of the wall, giving you the opportunity for some crazy peace control plays. Number 24, when you push an opponent's box, the standard play is to usually like take the wall and place the cone inside after you've edited it. What many players don't realize is that with some decent enough ping, you can place the cone and a wall at the same time when wall replacing. This will completely throw your opponent off, giving yourself an easy shot. Number 25, players these days think that you have to play crazy faster when your fights. While this may be somewhat true, you know, sometimes actually slowing down and playing more defensive is actually gonna end your fights quicker. So playing off your opponent's edits with your shotgun or SMG out is gonna work better than you think. Number 26, all right, whether you're build fighting or box fighting, you should definitely do your best to keep your crosshair on your opponent through builds at all times. This is gonna prevent you from losing track of your opponent and it's gonna give you a free shot if they happen to expose themselves. Number 27, you know, many people consider mantling in fights to be a last resort play if you're low on mats, but this can actually be a viable strategy for every fight. I mean, quickly mantling up two or three layers into your opponent is gonna catch them off guard and could sometimes instantly end the fight if you guys land your shots. Number 28, when you're playing with the duo or trio, coordinating an AR spray on a specified player can instantly knock them, giving you the opportunity to clean up the fight with ease, guys. Simply just call out a scan, countdown. Here we go, three, two, one, and fire. Number 29, another great way to play as a team is by using pre-edits. I mean, have one player on your team pre-edit an open edit on their wall. This player will then turbo build their wall in a piece that you can spray or pickaxe. If the player manages to replace the wall, a wide open edit will instantly place, allowing you to simply out-aim the opposing team. All right, guys, here we go. Number 30, whether you're the most cracked player in the lobby or not, guys, you should definitely do your best to stick to dead side when playing tournaments. This is gonna prevent you from being lobby focused and it's gonna provide a safer rotation once the next zone forms. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to click on the link below and visit Pro Guys for some extra level coaching. All right, guys, we did it. Bunch Chris Army. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Listen, man, I'm telling you right now, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And at the end of the day, Fortnite is a game where players of all skill levels can improve with the right guidance. So use the tips that we showed you guys in today's video to really bring your gameplay to the next level. Do not quit. Continue to fight for yourself, man. Believe in yourself and just grind, man. Just grind, 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 grind. You could do it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.